the wet pad, a smooth 12-acre driving surface flooded with water. It's like driving on ice. Out here, maintaining control at speed is difficult at best. They basically did a big figure eight on a wet track. Uh, serpentines out there, there's some radius turns where you have to shuffle steer, as well as uh, incorporating different lane changes. What it challenged us to do was uh, try and maintain a, a steady speed and maintain full traction as we went around the course. We manipulate the vehicle and you know kind of make it angry. Officers Terry Bykirk and Chris Whaley go out first in a 2010 rear-wheel drive Chevy Tahoe PPV. It's really top heavy, so when you get that body roll, then it ends up pushing you into a skid or understeer or get you to fishtail. I'm fighting with the skid, trying to keep it under control. The Chev Tahoe is not a lot of fun to drive. In fact, it's actually a lot of work to drive. Officers Don Spence and John Lees test the rear wheel drive Dodge Charger Pursuit with a Hemi V8. It's got a lot of rear power, so I mean, it's, it, you gotta combat that already. And it's hard to hold that back end because she seems kind of heavy. Uh, once I got it into the corner, especially if I applied uh, any type of throttle to it, it would go into a uh, oversteer situation pretty quickly. Next up, the new all-wheel drive police interceptor utility with 3.7 liter V6. To keep this comparison fair, Ford engineers have disabled the electronic stability control in the police interceptor vehicles. Oh yeah, no question now in this vehicle, it was easier for me to get acclimated to. It was in control at all times. It handled so well through the slalom section of the figure eight. The all-wheel drive utility vehicle with the 3.7 is quite amazing. It really is amazing engineering. Don Spence tests the all-wheel drive police interceptor sedan with the standard 3.5 liter V6. It was a lot easier to drive the interceptor through that wet stuff. Less steering, it wasn't as much input into the car as the output it was giving you. You were actually accelerating through the turns on a wet pavement. Before that, I had the Hemi Dodge Charger and uh, it definitely didn't hold the road or hold the line nearly to what the new interceptor does, not at all. The all-wheel drive system can sense both vehicle speed the inputs of the vehicle, whether it be uh, oversteer or understeer, and the amount of power that the driver's demanding. What it can do is actually balance torque from the front to the rear to give you the maximum amount of traction, maximum amount of performance. It just goes along with the same DNA that we put into this vehicle of purpose-built from the ground up for police applications. 